So in this video, we'll talk about how to choose lighting for your home. Now, I'm not going to go into the specifics too much of the like styles of light fixtures, but more choosing the right light bulbs for your home. Now, this may seem like a um, kind of an easy topic or a, you know, why do I need to know anything about light bulbs? You just pick one out and put it in your home. But I wanted to go into detail to focus on different color um, temperatures of lighting because um, that greatly affects the way your decorations look, the way your paint colors look. Um, and so that's what I will get into in this video. So back in the day, pretty much your choices were um, incandescent light bulbs that were just different wattages. So, you know, it was kind of like, okay, if I have a light fixture that has multiple light bulbs in it, I'm probably going to choose 40 watt bulbs. If I have a light fixture that only has one bulb in it, I'll probably choose a 60 watt bulb. Um, so that was basically about where our choices um, were, is basically the brightness or how many lumens um, that were given off by the light bulb. Um, you know, there were halogen and different things like that too, but today there are fluorescent and LED. Right when fluorescent light bulbs came out, pretty much they were very much daylight colored lighting, which is kind of a very stark, clean, um, bl bluish even toned lighting. So eventually they started making lighting in a variety of different temperatures. Thank goodness, because um, it is there is a benefit to choosing LED and fluorescent over the old-fashioned incandescent because the bulbs are supposed to last longer and um, they're a lot more energy efficient than the old style light bulbs were. So going into how you know to choose the light bulb that you want when you're in the store. So when you are choosing the light bulbs, there is obviously the first, well, what type of bulb is it? Where is it going? You know, is it going in a regular um, light fixture or is it going to go in a chandelier because they have different size bases? So, I mean, you need to obviously make that choice. But when it comes to the light bulb itself, let's talk about the light bulbs, just, you know, the, the regular light bulbs. So today when we're choosing light bulbs, we're not as focused on... I mean, we still are focused in how much light is given by the light bulb, but because the newer bulbs are more energy efficient, it's, it's not as much based off of the wattage. I think a lot of light bulbs have the wattage equivalent on them, which is nice so that we don't have to, you know, do the math of, um, okay, so what is the equivalent lighting of this bulb compared to, of this fluorescent bulb compared to the old school incandescent. So a lot of the um, light bulb brands will put, you know, 60 watt equivalent on the box, which is nice because then, you know, we don't have to um, worry about getting too bright of a bulb or too dim of a bulb. When you're choosing the light bulb color temperature, um, on every light bulb box, there should be the color temperature, which is um, like 2700K or, um, you know, something to that form. And some of them might even tell you, you know, this is towards the warm color of the spectrum or this is towards the cool color of the lighting spectrum. The old school incandescent light bulbs were about 2700K um, Kelvin. This is the Kelvin scale that measures the temperature of lighting. So when you're choosing lighting, if you want the lighting to be like the old incandescent light bulbs, choose 2700K. And now let me say, um, by old school light bulbs, I'm not talking the, the newer um, vintage style bulbs because actually a lot of those are a lot warmer yet than the incandescent that we had um, before the LED and the fluorescent that we have now. But I'll go into that a little bit more in just a little bit. So if you want your lighting if you're buying LED or buying fluorescent and you want it to look like the old light bulbs that you had, 
um, choose light bulbs that are around 2700K because that'll be the nice warmth that you had um, before and it shouldn't make your space look any different or your paint colors look you know any different than what you had before. So when you're looking at the Kelvin temperature scale, 2700 is fairly warm on the scale. It's not the warmest, but you know it's fairly warm. It's about the the usual, like I said, incandescent bulb that we had. Um, when you get a little bit closer to the 4000 K light bulbs, those are going to be um, more of a clean, clear light. So they're you know not going to lean too far either direction on the temperature scale. And then when you get above that to like 5000 um, Kelvin, that's going to be getting, you know, on its way to like the daylight um, light bulbs, which lean more towards blue. When you're choosing light bulbs, pay attention to what their rating is on the Kelvin scale, because that will tell you how warm or cool um, that the lighting is. And then, you know, always keep in mind the amount of light that you want the bulb to give off. I never put anything above a 60 watt light bulb in a fixture just because it's just going to be blasting bright or 60 watt equivalent. Um, I'm, I'm talking more in the old school measurement, um, but what I'm meaning is the amount of lumens that are produced by like the old school style um, wattages. Um, so 60 watt was about is about the highest that I'll choose for a light fixture that has one bulb. If it has multiple bulbs, usually I do 40 watt or 40 watt equivalent because um, 60 watt then you know multiple of that is about a little too much um, and you don't, you don't want your light fixture hard to look at because you're trying to get too much light. So when you have lighting in a space, if you only have the one light fixture, instead of adding a higher wattage of bulb to compensate for the fact that you only have one light fixture, I would suggest having a floor lamp or adding table lamps or some other lighting around the room to compensate instead because it's just going to be more inviting and more appealing and then you won't have like the sun in the middle <laughs> of your room.